What's up logical people, this is Amar. You may already know the snail and wall puzzle. But in this video, I am going to show you a trickier version of this puzzle that can easily trap anyone in an interview. The interviewer will first ask you the basic question. There's a 10 meter high wall. A snail is at the bottom of the wall. It climbs up 2 meters in 1 hour. Then it rests for the next hour and while resting it slides down 1 meter. It continues the same pattern until it reaches the top. How long will it take for the snail to reach the top of the wall? Of course the interviewer is expecting you to tell the wrong answer as 20 hours. Because eventually for every 2 hours it climbs up just 1 meter. So to climb up 10 meters height it would take 20 hours. But since you know how to solve this puzzle, you'd explain that by the end of 16 hours, it has climbed up 8 meters. And in the next hour, it climbs up the remaining 2 meters to complete 10 meters. And it just reaches the top of the wall. And now it doesn't have to slide back again because it has already reached the top. So the answer is 17 hours. The interviewer would congratulate you for this correct answer. And he would continue with his next puzzle. Now the snail is at the top of the wall. If it follows the same pattern of climbing down for one hour and resting for next hour and so on. How many hours does the snail take to reach the bottom of the wall? I'd like to thank Tamir Erez for sharing this deadly interview trap. I highly encourage you to pause the video and think logically. If your answer is six and a half hours, then you have been successfully trapped by the interviewer. Apparently, it looks very easy that every two hours it climbs down three meters. So in six hours, it completes nine meters and in the next 30 minutes, it climbs down remaining one meter and touches the bottom. But this is incorrect. The trick here is to observe why does the snail slides down 1 meter while it's resting for 1 hour. The only logical and practical reason is that it's sliding down due to the gravity. So there's always a downward speed component SG of 1 meter per hour that arose due to the gravity with which it's pulling the snail downward. Let SN be the natural speed of the snail without the effect of gravity. The effective upward speed SU will be equal to the natural speed minus the downward gravitational speed component. We have to use the minus sign because they both are in opposite directions. So its natural speed without the effect of gravity is 3 meters per hour. Now when the snail is climbing down the wall, its effective downward speed SD will be equal to its natural speed plus the downward speed component due to gravity. And here we have to use the plus sign because both of these components are in same direction. That makes it 4 meters per hour. So in the first hour it climbs down 4 meters. In the next hour while resting it slides down 1 meter. It repeats the same cycle once again and touches the bottom. So it takes only 4 hours for the snail to climb down the wall to reach the bottom. In the next week, I'll be posting another very interesting interview trap puzzle. Make sure you press the bell icon so that you don't miss a notification when I post the puzzle next week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then, give a try to these interview riddles. Also check out Aptitude Problems on my channel, Logically Yours.